The king saved us out of the hand of our enemies, and he delivered us out of the hand of the Philistines. And now he has fled out of the land for Absalom, and Absalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in battle. Great thing to remember that the king saved us, isn't it? And the king delivered us, and will deliver us again and again and again. But not if we're following Absalom. And the old enemy whispers in our ears, and he's got all kinds of little tricks for us. He says to us, this sin that you're being tempted with, you've done a good job. You have resisted this temptation for weeks now, but you can't do it forever. I mean, you're going to fall one of these days. So why don't you just go ahead and do it and get it over with, and get it out of your system. And what happens? You don't get it out of your system. You become a slave to it. And so he deceives us, and he steals our hearts. That's what he's after, isn't it? If he can get your heart, he can drag you around by your heartstrings. If he, if he knows where your affections are, if he knows where your desires are, then he goes after those things. And if he gets us desiring the wrong things, then he has us just where he wants us. What is your great desire? Would you sit down and put that on a piece of paper sometime? Could you write down on a piece of paper, my great desire is to be holy, to be like God, holy like God is holy, to be Christ-like. But what he does is he gets us settling for a fair bit less, and he woos our hearts away from the king. And this problem led to another one. The problem of swords drawn against the king. Can you imagine this now? The people who had been saved and delivered by the king are actually strapping on their swords to go out and do battle against him. Say, so that had never happened with me. Oh, but it does, doesn't it? The scripture says that whoever I yield my members to, that's who I'm fighting for. And it's possible for Christians to do the devil's work, the ministry of discouragement. That's the devil's work, isn't it? of backbiting and gossip. That's the devil's work. Criticizing the brethren, the accuser of the brethren. That's the devil's work to do that, isn't it? To use half-truths. That's his work. He's a liar from the beginning. And so I end up fighting in his army and doing his work for him, speaking ill of the Lord Jesus by the way I live and discouraging people, as we already heard. Well, what was the solution? Well, it was to ask the king to come back. Now, therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing the king back? Now, I suppose there's a sense in which today we can invite the Lord to take his rightful place again in our hearts, and that's that's the step necessary for us to enter into the good of it. To be Christ-like. To be like God. Holy like God is holy. 